So for each of you, uh, if, if you could go back to your 20 year old self, uh, and give yourself one piece of advice with the knowledge and wisdom that you know, now, what would that advice be? Mm. That usually stumps a couple people. <laughs> mm. I haven't, I'm, I'm fortunate that I haven't made very many huge blunders. So mm. for me, the advice I, that comes to mind, and maybe it would change if I thought about it longer. I know that I was, and maybe continually, maybe I am still uh, impatient with, mm -hmm. with almost my life in general. You know, I remember when I was 23 or no, 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 I was probably 26. I was like coming to the end of college and I kind of realized I didn't actually learn very much. And I did learn about accounting and stuff, but I kind of realized like, oh man, I don't know. So I bought uh, some books about things that I was interested in and it kind of right. realized, and I, and reading those like self-help kind of books, I almost instantly became impatient. Like I need to have this wealth or this career, this family feel that. right now. And I was 25 and I remember really thinking like, oh, what the heck? I've been working pretty hard. I was paying for my school and yada, yada. And I, and and even now, you know, as I'm hearing myself say this, I'm reminding myself that you got to be patient for the things in your life that you want. And, and I know when I was younger, I was a little impatient with certain things that I felt like I was ready for right at that moment. Looking back, I'm kind of glad they rolled out just the way they did. But I think I, mm -hmm. I think I might have tortured myself a, a little bit unnecessarily by feeling like I was not either entitled or deserving or, you know, life was unfair that certain things weren't happening to me that I felt right. like they should have. And, and looking back, that's just, that was just being in my twenties and, and, and now I'm in my thirties, I'm, I'll turn 40 next year. So I'm kind of coming up to the next milestone. And I, I have a feeling when I look back, I still haven't cracked that code, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. I love it. It's really good. Well, I have the advantage now of waiting till the end of the conversation to say something, right. And, <laughs> So that's one thing that, that we all need to learn, right? It's just to kind of keep our powder dry. <laughs> but um, so I've got several things here. And I, I, think, I think the first one would be if, I, if my one-year-old self could have realized the way my 63-year-old self realizes how short life is and how, how the moments just disappear and that you don't remember them. And so all three of you guys need to realize this too. You won't remember these, these things. They just blur into the past and, and you'll have to see a photograph to remember it. And it is almost as if they didn't happen. Okay, so try to keep track of that. Um, the corollary to that is your kids are gonna grow way faster than you think they are. Yeah. Um, and they'll, they'll just come a moment when they're all grown up and you have no idea how it came so quickly. Um, so the, the quote out of Proverbs that you busted out on us, Davis, is so mm -hmm. powerful that mm -hmm. strife is always a product of pride. Mm -hmm. And, and if there is strife in your life, it, there's another place in Pro Proverbs where it says that contention cometh only by pride. Mm -hmm. And so if you've got contention in your life, mm -hmm. it's because both parties are acting out of pride. Both parties are acting out of pride. I wish I would have recognized that way sooner. Now, at one, a one-year-old, probably not. But really at good. some point, okay, right. at some point, it's powerful to recognize that. Hmm. Everything, you know, Paul wasn't kidding when he said all things work together for good unto That's them right. that love the Lord. Really? He wasn't kidding. And it's hard to believe that. My mom was, she drummed on that so hard. We all got so sick of hearing it. But, but she was right. And, um, and I guess the other one would have been that at age one or two, if someone could have helped me understand that there's an old man in my, in my future that is going to really wish that you would be wise every chance you get, you know, seek wisdom, just seek it as hard as you can. And it's not right. the same thing as knowledge. That's right.